Believe it or not, it's been two and a half years since I did the Unifilter mod, so we should probably check in on this little guy. You have chosen wisely. Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel, everybody. If you love everything, and I do mean everything, related to Tacomas, be sure to subscribe now. So yes, it has been two and a half years since I did the Unifilter mod. If you have not seen the video and why you might want to do it, because it's a $15 mod that could save you thousands of dollars. If you have not seen that video, be sure to check it out using the tag right here. So today we will check in on the Unifilter, see how it's doing, and actually give it a little bath. And before we get started, be honest. If you've done the Unifilter mod, how long has it been since you checked or cleaned it? Anyone got longer than two and a half years? I think I might be the record holder. Okay guys, here is the Unifilter right here in front. Of course, it does have this protective cap. If your Tacoma did not come with this protective cap, I will of course link to it down below. I actually found it on Amazon. There's no picture for it, so I wrote a review and included a couple of pictures, but this is an extra way to help sort of keep dust and crap from getting over here, specifically here on the Unifilter. It actually covers the filter pretty much, looks like 90% coverage everywhere but the bottom right here. To remove this, there's just a few clips. It's already a little loose uh, to sort of pry it up and it will come free. These things always feel like they're going to break when you're trying to remove them. And there it goes. And here is the Unifilter, obviously right there on the end. A little dirty under here on the cap. No, that's pretty easy to clean though. And the actual Unifilter doesn't look too bad. Get the camera to focus in there for you. I mean, this comes nice and like sort of maroon red. Looks like, obviously, towards the exterior, a little more dirt buildup. But really, I haven't touched this. I haven't opened the cap. I haven't removed anything in literally two and a half years. So this looks pretty good. They do make a cleaning solution for this. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this off and give it a quick bath. Similar to how I guess you clean like the K&N filters, stuff like that. They make a specific solution for that. I'll go over those in just a second, but first thing we need to do is get this popped off. Maybe it's just because mine has been on here for two and a half years without being removed. Once you loosen up the hose clamp right there, this was super tight for me to get off. I wasn't able to pull it. I felt like I was just going to break it. So I'm going to pop this cap off. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. That way when I'm holding the cap and the unifilter on the other hand, it'll be easy to pop off. And to get the cap off right here, you can see there is one screw right in the middle. You will need a T25 Torx bit to loosen that. Go ahead and pull that out. Obviously, be careful not to drop the screw in the engine bay. It's about two inches long, so probably longer than you expected. Once that is free, take a flathead screwdriver, and there is one right here, and the other one back here in the opposite corner, sort of tabs that hold this in place. If you carefully, and I do mean carefully, take your flathead screwdriver and sort of pry those up just a little bit, you'll be able to get this loose so we can get the filter off. And of course, go ahead and take your flathead screwdriver and loosen up the hose clamp so you'll actually be able to get this off. It's still pretty stubborn. I feel like I'm going to tear it in half, but it will get off. <laughs> I gave myself a hernia. And here is the actual Unifilter oil cleaner. I want to say it was about $10 on Amazon. I will, of course, put a link for it down in the video description below. I'm just going to obviously spray the inside and outside of the Unifilter with this stuff. And it said just let it sit for five minutes or so. But it's a little sunny today, so I'll probably give it longer than that. I always err on the side of caution when you're doing those reusable filters. You don't want to actually get any of the cleaner sucked into whatever system you're doing. And of course, I'll be just holding the filter with a glove and using an Amazon Prime bag to avoid the back spray. And after a few hours, just to make sure this is 100% dry, the Unifilter is looking fan frickin tastic That deep maroon, I tried to get all the dirt out of there. I actually, off camera, I actually sort of brushed out some of the debris that was remaining after the stuff dried, so got it nice and clean. Of course, reverse steps just to get this back on the truck. <laughs> I 
right, everybody, that will do it for this video. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching. Comment below and let me know how the condition of your Unifilter is and whether or not you thought it needed a cleaning. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.